The big UK banks will report earnings this week, and it's not a great look for them with sterling plumbing uh, two-year lows almost on a daily basis. Now, the reason that sterling is doing that, of course, is that the government says it's preparing for a no-deal Brexit. And that is also bad news for banks, not just because of the potential impact on the economy, but because the Bank of England would almost inevitably reduce interest rates at uh, some point this year if that occurred. And uh, reduced interest rates, of course, put banks' net interest income under pressure as well. Now, there are a number of focus points for the individual banks themselves. For Lloyd's, which reports on Wednesday, the main watch will be on whether or not it gives more details about potential share buyback plans, which, if it does, would uh, be a, a lift for the shares. For Barclays, which reports on Thursday, uh, the main focus is on whether or not it can actually do better uh, than it did in the uh, similar quarter of the year before, when its trading income uh, basically beat the street. RBS also reports on Thursday, and uh, expectations are a little bit more pessimistic there after it gave a very negative assessment about the impact of Brexit in the first quarter. That assessment can only have uh, got a little bit worse. HSBC reports on Monday the 5th of August, and uh, there, with the US-China uh, trade conflict uh, kind of dying down, or at least cooling down a little bit, the expectation is that uh, that may provide a lift for the bank's uh, large deposit base in China. For more information about the big UK bank's earnings season, visit cityindex.co.uk.